hi guys welcome back to Josie's world so today it's going to be all about fall you guys I have already done my fall shopping and I wanted to share with you guys what I got and I also want to show you guys how I'm gonna decorate my house so that's what this video is going to be about all the things that I got and decorating with me um, I did end up going to four stores for decorations um, and I'll be showing you guys what stores I went to in order and to be honest I don't even think I spent like a hundred dollars so I got a really good deal on a lot of these things yeah, without further ado let's get started so the first store that I ended up going to was the dollar store you guys Dollar Tree has some real goodies and I went to the dollar store last week but the one that I went to, um, they didn't have a variety of things. So I ended up going to another one that was kind of near me too. And this Dollar Tree was like, I think the Dollar Trees of all the Dollar Trees. Because this one was huge. And um, I was able to find a whole bunch of things. Um, I am making my own wreath. Um, just because I like doing my own wreaths. I think I've mentioned this in a previous video. I've done my Christmas one and I have my spring one. So I'll be making my own wreath for the fall season. And so what I got from the Dollar Tree were these cute flower arrangements, whatever they're called, flowers, <laughs> leaves, um, that I'll be using for my wreath. Um, I'm definitely going to be cutting them. I might include me doing the wreath. Um, it's just going to be a short clip that I'll show you guys on how I am going to do my wreath. Um, you know, because this video is fall themed. So yeah, I grabbed, like, I don't even know how many I grabbed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these. And I don't even think I'm going to use all of them. But even if I don't use all of these, I'm probably just going to put them on some little flower faces um, and just put them like around the house. But yeah, these were so cute. When I saw them, I was like, they're definitely going to be useful. Now, I did go onto Pinterest and I already have an idea of how I want to do my wreath based on the pinterest uh, picture that i saw and yeah that's the goal i will show you guys in a little bit which one i'm talking about but yeah and then the last two items i got were these cute pumpkins i want to keep everything like rustic style um that's my favorite type of decor um like rustic farmhouse style just because my dream house has always been living in a farm <laughs> so um hopefully one day i get my dream house of just being in my own farm and just having cows and chickens yeah you guys i when i was a little girl um this is off topic my grandpa he had a farm in mexico and i just fell in love with it so i've i've always had the idea of wanting to live in a farm but anyways yeah so i grabbed only two um this one was broken from the top i'm just going to hot glue this i have a hot glue gun and it's easy to fix so those are the only items i got at the dollar store i think i only spent like 12 dollars there um i did grab a couple of like personal items and so after the do dollar store i did go to hobby lobby i really i had no idea the uh grape tree or i think it's grape tree i don't know but i had no idea these style of wreaths would be so inexpensive there I, for some reason i thought they were gonna be like ten dollars or something but they were just $4.99 so I got, I got me one of these and this is what I'm going to use um, to decorate my wreath. My son's eating you guys if you guys hear noise in the background. <laughs> um, but this is what I'm going to be using like I mentioned previously it was only $4.99 so I was like yes. I got this cute little basket thing that I am actually going to be putting in my guest bathroom um, just because you know, we don't have anything to like put toilet paper or like tissues or something like that. This was like on sale too. It was like 50% off. 
It cost $11.99 and it was 50% off. And then I got some burlap and I'm gonna make another ribbon um, for my wreath. And this was like $5.99, but it was also 50% off. Um, Hobby Lobby is having like a good deal, by the way. So go to your nearest Hobby Lobby. The last thing I got from there was this cute little pumpkin that says bless and it was also 50% off and it cost $5.99 originally and I think I got it for like three something um, but this is probably gonna go here in my ottoman isn't it so cute I love it you guys when I went to Hobby Lobby they already had a huge thing of Christmas thing stuff like I was like so tempted to get already like Christmas things but I was like no that can wait that can wait I only need fall stuff right now after that I went to Target this is all like yesterday stuff that I got yesterday and my son was a real trooper you guys like we went to three stores yesterday and my son did not like holler or scream at all like he was just calm and I was like yes so happy he behaved um so I went to the dollar section here in Fayetteville we only have one target that's near Fort Bragg so it kind of sucks because things get like taken real quick so you have you kind of have to go like if you know when they're gonna restock certain things you have to go that day or it's gonna be gone and the only thing that i found was this cute candle that i'm gonna be putting here in this ottoman too this is like the pumpkin um scent you guys i love the smell of pumpkin pumpkin everything i cannot wait to drink me some pumpkin spice lattes i heard they're already out the reason why I haven't had one is because it's hot as heck here <laughs> and you got you guys I just I can't like it's way too hot here for me to be drinking something hot so I'm gonna wait till it gets a little cooler I'm hoping it gets cooler so yeah this was not even a dollar this was like three dollars but I mean it's cute and it smells good and it's gonna go here um, and then I got me a candle from there. I was looking everywhere for some candles that were, weren't that expensive, you guys. Yeah, candles are so expensive nowadays. <laughs> um, who knew? And I mean, I this was still $10, I think. This one is called Fresh Pumpkin. It smells so good. It doesn't smell like pumpkin pumpkin. It has like some sugary smell to it too. So that really won me. And this, I don't even know where I'm going to put it but I love the smell of it, it's, it smells amazing. Um, and then my basic self had to get this, um, Miss Meyers Clean Day Hand Soap. When I heard that they were making the um, pumpkin scent, I was like, yes, like, I, okay, so I did not, I literally recently heard of this brand. Um, I have a friend named Alex, um, and she's like so like into like organic stuff I think for cleaning supplies and like she's really neat and um, she's always posting pictures of like her house and how it looks and stuff and I saw that she had this brand um, for like cleaning supplies and stuff and I was like let me try it out and see what that's about and so I bought the lavender scent and you guys I am obsessed with it like it smells so good and I have the dish soap too, for it too so my dishes be smelling so good I did not find a dish soap for this um, scent at my Target I think I'm gonna have to order it online because they literally only had this and the cleaning spray which I didn't get um and so um I I've seen mixed reviews of the dish soap apparently like it leaves all your plates smelling like pumpkin or whatever but I mean that's kind of the point you know because it's scented that way I don't know I personally love the smell so um I, that's why I got me one of these and um that's all I got at Target. I didn't get any like decor or anything like that. Just like can. Okay, y'all. So the last place I ended up going to was TJ Maxx. So I thought I was done shopping yesterday. But today I noticed that my wreath just doesn't look polished. So I was like, I need to get me a new wreath. And um, I stopped by TJ Maxx to see what they had available. And to my surprise, I found some more things there. So um i just got this today 
and you guys this is the wreath i ended up picking up it's so cute and it was only $9.99 um so this is the one that i'm going to be hanging up up there i did show you guys a wreath last time that i purchased um remember when i was like oh i want to buy a cute free wreath for the party blah 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 um i ended up switching it to a different one because as soon as i put it up there it just didn't look right so i ended up um exchanging it for a different one exchanging it for a different one but um i'm probably going to move that one to my room and put this one instead now hopefully it looks pretty um and then this is my son was acting out and he loves trains so i ended up picking this is random sorry <laughs> um i got this cute dish soap not dish soap, this cute hand soap that i'm going to be putting in the guest bathroom um once again it's um pumpkin i think it is pumpkin it doesn't say oh i'm assuming it's pumpkin scented and it looks cute so that's where it's gonna go it was only 5.99 and the last thing i got there was this cute pumpkin thing i can't even open it they wrapped it real good that one that's cute This cute pumpkin, you guys. It says give thanks. So this one's probably going to go in my kitchen. And this was $5.99. So yeah, that was everything that I got. Um, I literally spent less than $100, by the way. And um, I saved a ton of money by, like getting the stuff that i need to create my own wreath um i went on etsy they're selling them for like 60 dollars, 70 dollars, and i was like nope why spend that much when i know i can make myself one so i will throw in a small clip of how i decorate my wreath hopefully it turns out good and i'm also going to show you guys where i'm going to put all these cute decorations here in my house um so yeah stay tuned you guys so this is the wreath that i currently have here in my living room it's cute but like i said it didn't look fallish so i will be replacing it with the one that i showed you guys and this is how my house my living room looks this is before that's my son's little play area um like i i don't know if you guys have seen my previous video but my house is not that big so <laughs> um and here is my mess so I got this from the world market by the way if you guys are wondering um but this is where i'm gonna probably keep this candle um oh my goodness so much crap here already let me try to clean this up i this ottoman is my favorite i love it so so much the thing is the bad thing is that um it got stained um and i honestly don't know I've tried almost everything to get most of these stains out, but it just, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> so I just had an idea of putting this in the middle. I thought I was going to move it, but then I, I had an idea and I was like, it will definitely look cute if I put it in the center and kind of wrap some of these leaves around it. Um, the way I'm probably going to do that is I just cut up a piece of burlap and I'm going to put it around this candle, um, and try to stick these in. Um, I'm definitely going to cut these up. Let me get my hot glue gun ready and then I'll show you guys how it ended up looking. And this is how it turned out. Just a cute small little design. So it wouldn't have looked too plain on here. Okay, so this is how everything's looking like so far. I didn't want to go too crazy like I mentioned previously. This, um, I had a mason jar and I just put burlap over it and put this cute floral decoration on there. So this is what my dining table looks like. Um, the dining table used to be my parents'. 
but they moved um, and once they moved they already had a huge table so they ended up giving us this one and it's really cute and these chairs came with like another uh, cute little table that we just we have in storage I got this cute burlap from Etsy and this is my um, you know our last name initial um, and this is really cheap it was like seven dollars I think so um, as far as like my table I do need to get like um, table mats so this is the one that I'm going to attempt to make I already have my letter um, I cannot find this color of um, whoops go back of ribbon but I'm just gonna use burlap instead and so yeah you guys hopefully it turns out pretty <laughs> I'm literally just sticking these in there and honestly I don't even think I have to super not super glue this. Um I don't even think I have to uh hot glue it because it just sticks in there. These I did so they could stay in place. But these leaves I honestly they're pretty much tucked in there. And I think I'm just gonna add these cute shiny leaves just so that it looks, I don't know, shiny. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go ahead and make a bow out of this burlap and attach it right here. I'm just gonna see how it looks. Uh, honestly, it looks really cute just like that. So why do you wanna do it like that? My husband just got home. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's turning out really cute. But yeah, I'm just gonna do the bow and then see how it looks. If I don't like it, then I'll just probably leave it like this. So, you guys, this is how it ended up looking with the burlap bowl. Bow, I said that sounded weird. <laughs> Uh, with the burlap bow and um, I just added the cute little sunflowers or I don't even know if they're sunflowers up here um, I don't know so that they could just I don't know cuter. Um, but I'm really happy with how it turned out I'm gonna add the letter art of our last name right here in the middle and we're pretty much I'm pretty much done but yeah, it was really, really super simple. And these you get at Hobby Lobby for like $5 and this at the dollar store. Um, so you save a ton of money making your own. So I ended up just attaching the B to the door. So it's just simpler. And I found a better use for it. The guest bathroom. <laughs> So, it looks pretty yeah. nice there. And here oh. is the soap that I purchased. I think I'm gonna get some cute little washcloths to hang here. I have some um, that says, that has the letter B, but um, to match my bathroom, I'm just gonna have to buy some new ones. <laughs> I'm not